What's up, guys? So I'm just sitting here. Uh, I got another package in the mail. It's the LS6 intake manifold. So I'm gonna get ready to open that up and uh, we'll check it out. All right, guys, so I ordered this thing. I didn't realize it was coming from Kuwait, but actually it, it uh, got here real quick. It only took like four or five days, which is pretty quick for all the machines. It smells like gas. Oh, we took the throttle body off. This thing is massive. Wow. That is a massive throttle body. Wow. Not used to having stuff this big, you know, coming from Han and Four Cylinder World. We got. Look at that. Here she is. Looks like someone used some kind of silicone on these gaskets. They're getting replaced with OEM GM, so. Looks pretty good. Let me bring it over here so you can see. There it is. It's a LS6 intake manifold with no EGR valve. For that you know cleaner look but yeah that'll fit nice uh nice on there so yeah let's um let's go out here and put it on all right everybody i gotta change the clothes we're out here about to get the uh the uh, five three up on the uh engine stand and then we'll uh kick it off and get the intake manifold off Alright guys, so we got it off the lift onto the stand. Now we gotta get off the wiring harness. And uh, once that's off, we can go ahead and remove the intake manifold. It looks pretty easy. Only four on that side, four on that side. Then we can uh, put on the uh, LS intake manifold. Then when we do that, we can take off like the headers uh, on both sides, take off the AC bracket, we don't need that. And then I can start mocking up uh, my custom billet stuff too. So let's get to it.
Okay guys, got the intake manifold off. Now let's take a look down in there. As you can see, it looks like there's been some visitors. Good. And uh, the intake manifold gasket has definitely been changed. That's Felpro. AutoZone Special. The uh, exhaust manifold's off first. Then we'll get it flipped over. As you can see, that one rounded off. This one was broken off and this one was missing. So there's probably a piece up in there that needs to be taken out. And on this side, <laughs> this one stripped out, this one stripped out, this one and this one, only what, two came out of this side. So I'm gonna have to heat those up and hopefully they come out. Now I'm gonna be cutting them off and then I have to get them out the hard way, which I don't want to do. But uh, yeah, there's the final, well, not the final product, but that's what it'll look like. Looks a whole hell of a lot better with that intake manifold versus that big old truck intake manifold. And then I don't have any bolts for this, but that nice big throttle body on there, look good. Be able to make some good power with that but uh let's uh open up this this uh accessory kit and see how that looks kit from icbuild.com home of the ls swap they say so open it up comes with the idle idler right there to delete ac all the hardware which is nice nice uh bill of brackets so i got it out as you can see, we got the low mount alternator for the Camaro alternator. We got the Camaro power steering pump bracket also, which I have that over there. Um, so yeah, so all I need to do is get an alternator. And uh, I gotta drill a hole here for the alternator bolt. But other than that, drill and tap it, and that's it, and that thing will go on. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to clean this all up and paint the block, um, paint it black, and uh, leave the heads. Maybe try to polish them up a little bit. I don't know. Maybe I'll paint them. I don't know. What do you guys usually do with the uh, V8s? Do you paint the heads too, or just the block? So just let me know. Other than that, um, that's it for this week. Next week, um, I'll be going up into Willoughby, Ohio by uh, Lake Erie. They drop off the hatch because I couldn't go on Friday. I'll film some of that. And uh, when we get back, I'll probably take a week off. I'm not sure because we have a lot of stuff going on for Christmas. I don't know if I'll be able to have time to come out here and film anything. So, But when we do get back, I should have a transmission. Um, and then get a clutch and flywheel and we'll be able to you know hopefully get that together and paint this block and let me know if we you guys paint the heads too or if it's just a block so but yeah thanks for watching uh, see you guys next week yeah.